Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear privacy fans. My name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and I hope you like the new look for 2021, all the red and yellows versus the, some people say, duller brownish we had last year. So on to our first privacy news, which is probably the biggest one all over the world, and it's going to be here for a long time. And I am talking about WhatsApp. For most of us who are in the US, UK, um, India, Singapore, we are all using WhatsApp and everyone's talking about it. Some many, many shifting over to other IMs like Signal, Line. But really, is there a huge problem with WhatsApp? I addressed more about it and made a, co uh, a comparison between WhatsApp and all other major platforms on another video. Click here to view that very short video and my take on this whole what's up with whatsapp issue so moving on there are other international news on privacy and the next one is an astounding one because it is huge i am talking about this data breach that has exposed not just 100 but a hundred thousand employees database i'm just kind of shocked i didn't know un had a hundred thousand employees Gosh, and all stored under one data. I mean, seriously, that might not be very wise. If I had a hundred thousand database, and I'm sure the staff would be in all different countries, I'm sure it'll be smarter to, you know, uh, create partitions between your database. So, you know, those of you who are handling huge amounts of data, do you put them in one box or do you put them in many boxes and compartments? I don't know. So someone's going to get the head chopped because of this major issue. And as we are talking about data privacy all over the world and UN is not setting a good example. So hope these people are going to do better, you know? And which is concerning because uh, cyber criminals are getting better and better and everyone knows about this. And now cyber criminals are getting so good, they can even bypass multi-factor authentication. Imagine your bank, your, your, your social media accounts. Now this is really scary. So this article, it's really, you know, really worrying, I would say. Because when I read it, I, I really taught my banks. So are you saying that the, the, the hackers can bypass all these two FA tokens, which I have here right now? And... Very soon, we are all moving to digital tokens, which is even more scary. But you know, I think I think I prefer the these tokens, although they may be a bit more cumbersome. But for security sake and safety sake, I don't mind carrying these if I really need to. Uh, yeah, that's my take. What do you think about this? And back to Europe. Yes, Germany is in the news again. Uh, there was an article last year that I brought up to my good friend and trainer, Mr. Wong. And there's an article also by Norton Rose Fulbright that brought up the major issue about the Germany regulators giving a fraction of a fine that GDPR asked for. And now they have a new, maybe this is a response to that previous article that they wrote that now there's a huge major fine. So, I don't know what's happening in Germany, but perhaps they're getting more serious. But whatever the case, I am sure data protection is going to be big all over the world, and 2021 is not going to be an exception because the world is still on lockdown. So raise your hands if you are still on lockdown or semi-lockdown. I must say in Singapore, where I am right now, uh, we do go out, we do... Uh, live life pretty normal except we're not able to travel so for those of you who are still on lockdown doing work online continue p to be vigilant and be careful when you're online and back to us uh we've got a new president in the usa now uh mr joe biden or i'll call him grandpa joe biden is now on the hot seat and he's got an uphill task ahead of him and on the privacy note, there may be talks about having a federal law in the US for data protection. And because previously or now currently, 
only California has this uh, privacy law under the CCPA. So with the introduction of the CPRA, we, it, it, it looks like the CCPA may be going towards uh, the direction of GDPR where it comes to proactive accountability. So let's look forward to see what happens. So for those of you who are privacy folks and practitioners, compliance folks, you gotta, we, we, gotta, we gotta keep up with this news in the US because I think the next 100 days where Joe Biden's on a hot seat, we're going to see several changes, not just with regards to the handling of COVID, but we see the interest rates and even privacy laws coming in. So let's keep our eyes peeled on what's happening to the US and the way privacy is being handled as we take care of our own business in whichever country you are. Just remember to take care of your privacy. And again, if you're a new US, you should be keeping your eyes on the news. So again, this is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. And I really hope you, you have a good time and continue to support me. Remember, please like, subscribe, and share. So my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. Oh, I've got one great news. I have created the first card game for facilitation and learning of data privacy. So keep your eyes peeled and you'll see a little bit more. And for those of you who are in Singapore, Malaysia and Asia, and you'd like to see it a little bit, I would I wouldn't mind sharing a little bit with you because I do need people to give me feedback to critique the game. So see you real soon and ping me if you would like to see my card game and try it out. So good day and be safe.